This is Eva Smith. Welcome to the Pace at IT Data Management Program, Data Architecture, Section 3.1. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to describe the components of an enterprise data architecture and recognize the value of using data architecture patterns. In this section, you'll cover what is data architecture, what is enterprise architecture, and why is the scope and context of data architecture important. Data architecture is often compared with a set of architecture blueprints for a building or complex system because it describes the structure of the data needed for a specific purpose. Just as a blueprint represents the components and design of a building structure, there are some similar concepts that apply to developing a data architecture. Data architecture patterns are repeatable data relationships or archetypes that are common for specific business problems and processes. These provide a great starting point for understanding as well as design. For example, a common data model for a database to manage purchase orders would describe the relationships between an order entity, order line items, and product. It's also important to understand the scope of a data architecture. For example, you'll want to know the difference between an enterprise data architecture and a project data architecture. A project data architecture could be a subject area focus, a database design, logical models needed for a specific information system, or data structures for a specific application or set of applications. An enterprise data architecture or enterprise data model is more strategic in nature and describes the information and data needs of an entire organization. It's also important to become familiar with how the data architecture relates to other aspects of an organization's information systems. There are several enterprise architecture frameworks that are used to describe relationships between various aspects of an organization, including its business functions, people, business cycles, locations, and mission. Two enterprise architecture frameworks that you'll want to become familiar with are the Zaquin framework and the Open Group Architecture Framework, or TOGAF. These are complementary frameworks that you will be introduced to in the Section 2 materials. The data architecture is one aspect of an organization's enterprise architecture. It typically refers to a collection of models and definitions that serve as master blueprints designed to align IT programs and information assets with business strategies. It's used to guide data integration, quality, and successful delivery of information to address the organization's needs. The Dama DM box describes some common data architecture activities. These are understand enterprise information needs, develop and maintain the enterprise data model, Define and maintain the data technology architecture, the data integration architecture, the data warehouse and business intelligence architecture, the enterprise taxonomies, and the metadata architecture. As you work through the readings and videos in this section, some questions to consider are, what are the steps for identifying enterprise information needs? What are data model patterns? How are they used? What is the role of the enterprise data model? What are typical deliverables of enterprise data architecture development? What are different perspectives or schemas? And how would you go about creating a conceptual data model?